Welcome to Play and Trade Guitars. I'm John, that's Zach behind the camera, and this is Play and Trade Guitars, where we play it and trade it. And today, I'm gonna talk specs of these two Les Pauls. The Epiphone goes for $12.99, and a regular standard 50s goes for $29.99. If you're in the market for any gear, including these guitars, click to buy that new gear using our link. You'll find it pinned in the comments or down in the description. When you buy new gear using our link, you're gonna get fast free shipping, easy payment plans that makes buying new gear super easy, but you also help us make these videos. We're also giving away an American-made Martin acoustic guitar when we hit 100,000 subscribers. Win that guitar by hitting subscribe now and entering via Gleam. All of that's down below. All right, today we're gonna find out where your money is best spent and what makes the Gibson USA special. And frankly, these days, what makes the Epiphone inspired by Gibson Custom just plain awesome. So let's get into it. At the end of this, I'll also give you plenty of playing examples. Let's get started. It's nuts reading at a wider 1.71 inches. 0.86 inches at the first, up to 0.98 inches at the 12th. Two inches exactly on the thickness. Also with the strings out of the way, you can get a nice look at this beautiful piece of rosewood on the Gibson USA. Uh, and these are the acrylic trapezoid inlays, which, which are correct for the guitar. Nut comes in at 1.68 inches, first fret at 0.87 inches, up to a 12th fret of 0.97 inches. So on the chunkier 50s style, but 59 kind of Goldilocks, not too fat, not too skinny, medium C-shaped profile there. 1.92 inches thick on the body. Let's go ahead and flip over these pickups. In neck position, we have a burst bucker one, and in bridge position, a burst bucker two, short neck tenon on this guitar. It can also get a look at the maple cap and thickness as well. Let's flip over these custom buckers and take a look. And right away, you'll notice that long neck tenon here used in construction. And you can see marked custom bucker on the back, PAF, patent applied for sticker. Some of my favorite pickups, they sound fantastic. Flipping on the multimeter, we'll get a reading on these burst bucker one and two pickups. We're at seven nine on the burst bucker two and bridge, seven four, burst bucker one and neck, three eight combined. 7.5 in bridge, 7.7 seven seven in neck, 3.8 combined. Lifting up the control cavity cover, hand wired orange drop capacitors, Gibson 500K pots. Super clean under there. Control cavity cover has this nice gold uh, embossed Epiphone and Gibson Custom. Lifting that up under the hood, we have 50 style wiring, CTS pots, 500K, and Mallory caps in here. All right, let's get a weight. On the heavier side, nine pounds, 14 ounces. So we are like 9.8 pounds here. Eight pounds, eight ounces, 8.5 pounds. Great weight for a Les Paul. And flipping the guitar around for initial reaction, I'll tell you one thing you cannot emulate on Epiphone is the smell of a fresh Gibson with, uh, man, that mahogany wood, that nitro finish. It just smells great. Gloss finish feels great. Uh, this is not the thickest 50s profile neck that we've measured. Um, this is kind of like 59 kind of Goldilocks territory. Good ring to this guitar. I think that the neck shape... Yeah, it feels great. Um, it's a perfect kind of medium shaped 50 style profile neck. Uh, everything feels great and definitely a standout feature to point out is that it's got more of that kind of satin feel. Really nice. If you're in the market for a guitar like this, buy it using our link. It helps us make these videos. We're coming up on my favorite part. Let's plug this guitar in. I'll show you clean tones. We'll dirty it up and then we'll let it sing behind a track. And we're also going to compare it to the inspired by Gibson Custom Epiphone 1959 Les Paul Standard. Let's get to it.
Drop a comment, let me know what you think. We should all feel lucky that we're getting such high quality guitars from both Gibson and Epiphone these days. If you're gonna buy any of this gear, remember to buy it using our link. You help us make these demos. We've got tons of demos across the channel. And do us a favor if you haven't, hit subscribe. You'll be in it to win that Martin acoustic guitar. And uh, you just need to sign up on Gleam and make sure you're subscribed. Turn on notifications too, because we've got a whole bunch of videos coming at you all the time. And Zach and I are working hard to do that. Let me know which Les Paul you're going to buy next. And I'll see you on the next video for Playing Trade Guitars. Thanks for hanging out. I'm John. That's Zach on the camera. See you next time.